Hello, welcome to Figure Form 45. Thank you for your time checking my video. This is my review of the Marble Legends Marbles Blade in their Marble Knights way. If you are new to my channel, please leave a like and subscribe if you like my videos. This will really help me a lot in making more of these videos. Now please enjoy. First, let's check the packaging. So, it's a good thing that Marble Legends have returned to their old style packaging. At least now, we can see the figure that we are actually buying before we, you know, pay for it. So, at front of the box, it says Marble Knights, Marble's Blade. So, this is actually part of the collectible wave for the Mindless one, which, to be honest, at but at this time, I only buy Marvel Legend figure that I like. I I no longer collect their build a figure wave unless there's a hobby shop in my area that sells the build a figure wave separately. But I, I I'm not really that interested with this character. So in this set. The only one that I like is actually Bleed and Daredevil. Daredevil, I already have a video on it, and now uh, Bleed. Um, I've, I've had a hard time getting Bleed, that's why I know that it is late for me to review this, but this is really actually a figure that I've been wanting, and I'm glad that finally I was able to get my hands on it. So that's the packaging. Now let's unbox this. Okay, so he comes with the head portion of the build a figure wave and I don't know what that is. I think that's some kind of um, effect for the build a figure. Now at first look, I like that I love that he comes with a lot of accessories and an alternate hand, which is to, let's be honest, it's very rare for us to get on the Marvel Legend right now. Okay, so it's been a while since we last had the blade figure, and I can say that this new uh, version that Hasbro has given us is a pretty good one. I like the design. I love that. Uh, I like that they chose the, the version wherein he's wearing a trench coat. He, they did not give us an alternate head sculpt though. So we only have this one head sculpt wherein he is showing his fangs. Now, if we're gonna have only one head sculpt, I'd rather choose this one than a plain looking one because let's face it. Uh, Blade is a vampire, and I would rather choose this head sculpt than a normal looking head sculpt. I think my only complaint on this head sculpt is his hair, especially the top of his hair. It's too flat. Um, it's too flat. There's no texture on it, so it doesn't really look like natural hair. Yeah, uh, I, I don't really look like this one. They, they should have at least added some texture here because to be honest, it's too smooth. So it doesn't look like a, like hair. It's, it looks like he's wearing some cardboard cup or something. I don't know. So aside from that, aside from the way they chose the hair, which is really too smooth, I, I don't know. I like the pace sculpt that they did it is sculpted perfectly and painted perfectly and yeah i i like this look i like this look for blade so let me just show you the sculpt the whole sculpt of the figure i'll be honest guys i'm not that updated with marble legends anymore so i'm not sure 
there are any reuse on this one because as I told you uh, I don't really buy that much Marvel, Marvel Legends um, I only select the ones that I like and this one got my attention and so far as far as the sculpt and paint I think it's perfect so as far as the build a figure part that he that is, comes with him, it is the head and this effect part, I'm not sure if, if that's what it is. Yeah. So yeah. I I I'm not really that interested with this build a figure. It looks like a rock that is smoking or something so aside from the default close fist that is on him he has this weapon holding hands and of course what's a vampire hunter without these wooden stakes so he comes with two of them I forgot what these weapons are called, but I remember uh, in the Blade movie, Wesley Snipe using them like a boomerang blade or something like that. Anyway, it comes with two of this. And the sword, which to be honest, I'm not really that impressed with this sword. It looks like a generic one. I'm not sure, is this what blade swords looks like? I think this is just one of their generic weapons that they gave to him instead of giving him a really good sword. So to replace the hands... Yeah, it is actually pretty easy to replace the hands which is surprising because I had a hard time replacing the alternate hands of some of their figures. So the way he holds the sword is pretty firm, so that is a good sign. Okay, just kidding. It's actually pretty loose. I mean, just look at that. Let's try the other hand, which... I think it's gonna be the same. Yeah, um, it is pretty loose, but I think it will, if you post him on a specific thing, it will stay there. Yeah, so that's okay. As for the wooden stake, yeah, you can kind of hold them. Now, this is definitely how I'm, I'm going to display him because I like these weapons and I think this is the weapon that he holds better. And for this sword, which as I said, is not really that impressive, I'm just going to put it here. As for the articulation, the head can do that and that. It can look up pretty much like just like that then it can look down um, the joint is there but I think it's stuck uh, I don't know um, there I don't know if Hasbro have changed manufacturers or maybe it's their plastic type but I don't like it that from out of the box the joints of their figure seem stuck I mean, this is a simple neck peg and I really had to use force just in order to articulate it. This is one another reason. This is not just for the Marble Legends actually, even on their G.I. Joe line, which is the one that I collect in that, when it comes to Asbro. I noticed that, especially on the hand, like this one. This one, I think the joint is pretty stuck, so I cannot pull it up. So I'm gonna need to dip it in hot water just in order to make that move but based on my experience on the GI Joes after 
although I dip them in hot water and then I'll be able to articulate them it's because it becomes soft but when when it when it chills down and it will just come back to the to that tightness although I think in the case of this figure uh, there's really a problem on the, on the way the shoulder is designed so the articulation on this part is pretty limited you can you can only you can only the hands will stay that way you cannot put it any more closer to his waist so you can only keep him that way and then ah uh, yeah the joint here is not moving and this one moves but it's only like that so pretty limited on that one then rotation here then double jointed elbow and articulation here yeah okay at first i was wondering why did they painted it partially black under there then i realized maybe just to not make it obvious with the big gap here because if that was not painted black the red will show there so i get that answers my question why they partially painted it black down there anyway for the up yes an up crunch which can go down back there uh the trench coat will be in the way so i cannot lean him back anymore but it, it's possible and then the sword will be in the way okay yes waist articulation I swivel, double jointed, double jointed knee, ankle, now we can kick up to that high. We just we can kick back that far and you can do the bend then that far then there's also a cut there for additional articulation now for some size comparison here he is with spider-man here he is with wolverine now here he is with some gi joe figures that's hot and agent helix Then here is with my favorite Joe Shipwreck and here he is with Cobra Commander. So I hope that gives you an idea on how big he is. Overall this is a good blade figure. I think Hasbro did a good job putting this all together as far as aesthetics is concerned because yeah this definitely looks good my really problem is yeah the joints as i said it's not a problem that i only have in this figure but most has bro uh, that you can't you can't you can't even make it do a simple t account sorry t post this one somehow moves like that so i think that's just the range of this articulation but this one is pretty much stuck 
so I'm gonna need to heat it up in order for that thing to move which as I said based on my, my experience with their GI Joe lines you'll be able to heat it up move it but when it cools down it will come back to the original tightness I don't know if it's on the plastic that they're using now or because they changed manufacturer and the way they connect is just not that good but I think that's a common problem on all of Hasbro's figures that they need to take a look into because yeah I, I'm really having a hard time posing their figure right now because of that tightness it's not that good tight, it's more like they're stuck it's like they're, they're stuck that you really have to use force in order for the for it to make a simple t-pose work good thing in that, that in this one it is not a problem on his leg but on my on the late on the late on my latest purchase of their gi joes even the leg connection here was pretty hard to move that i really need to heat it up so hasbro need to look at that problem but anyway going back to this blade figure just the head sculpt alone to be honest is enough for me to buy this i just really don't like that that is so smooth it's like he's wearing a cup instead of that's a hair or something but as far as the look as the vampire look yeah that is blade so thank you guys if you reached this part of the video and at least somehow i will say i'm able to help you in deciding if you want to have this figure so thank you and take care of yourself